Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression of the Kylie Velvet Lip Kits. I'll also be doing a first impression on one of the highlighters that I managed to pick up. As you can see, I'm filming this intro after the video because I actually wanted to have a lipstick on my lip while I filmed the intro. But honestly, I think you guys will really enjoy this video. I'm so happy with my experience that I had with Kylie Cosmetics this time around. I live in Australia, so usually the shipping takes a long time, like about a month to get everything here. So I wasn't expecting this to come so quick, but honestly, I got it within two weeks or something. And that's, I'm so happy about that because I live all the way here in Australia. The shipping's so expensive, the products are so expensive, but... I love her lip kits so much. I've got so many of the matte ones. If you check my Instagram, I'll leave my username in the description box below. You'll see a photo of all the lip kits I own of hers. And honestly, I wear them all the time out clubbing every day. I've got her nudes. I've got some bright ones. I honestly love them so much. And I think you guys will really like the colours that she's come out with this time. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. And let's get on with the swatches. Okay, so I'm going to be doing these swatches in order of lightest to darkest, what I can see on the box, because honestly, every time I get a box, the colour on the outside is always so different to the colour on the inside. So the first one I'm going to start with is Charm. It just looks like a basic nude shade, so I'm excited to see this. But yeah, I'm really happy. All of her first shades she came out with were pretty nude and on the neutral side. Unlike when she first came out, I think she her first ones were like Candy K, Coco, and True Brown, and honestly... True brown would not look good on me. I'm so glad I didn't buy that one. Ugh. I'm just expecting to her lip liners to be the exact same as her other ones. Her lip liners, oh my gosh, I love them so much. They are so creamy, so easy to use, honestly. Oh. But they're not very sharp in this time. Okay, so let's see how this one goes. Yeah, like I said, they're so nice and creamy, honestly. Glide straight onto the lip. And they are pretty good pigmented. Okay, I think that'll do for the liner. And now for the actual lip kit. Yeah, this just looks like a normal nude. It looks like it's got a little pinky undertone to it. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Jeez, that is way more pink than I was expecting, but there was a pink undertone, so I kind of expected it, though. I don't know, first impressions, they do glide on really smoothly, but for some reason, I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I feel like I get a little bit more pigmentation off the matte lip kits. Okay, so I absolutely am in love with this formula, honestly. Even though it wasn't as pigmented, obviously I still got the colour and this is just off one little swipe on the bottom, one little swipe on the top. And that's usually just what I use for the matte ones anyway. It feels so nice and creamy. Like, I love the feeling when I've got lipstick on. I can just go and rub my lips. Honestly, it just feels so nice. But yeah, I'm actually really loving this colour. It reminds me of Coco K off the matte ones. But I always love a light little pink every now and then. The next lip kit I'm going to be trying is Harmony. On the outline of the box, it looks way darker of a pink than Charm, but I'm not going to go with the box because, honestly, like I said before, the colours are so wrong. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it looks the exact same inside the tube, just a darker pink, but try that one anyway. Yeah, what the... Honestly, this, like, pencil is so much more sharpened than the Charm one. Honestly, I thought that one was a little bit, like, not sharpened enough. Okay, so I'm just going to line my lips again. The lip liner looks like a really hot kind of pink, but not too bright, if you get what I mean. Now time for the velvet lipstick. Oh my gosh, I actually love this shade so much. It's pretty much the same as the last shade, just a few uh, shades darker. Yeah, so this one is called Harmony. Like I said before, looks almost the same as Charm, just a few shades darker. So smooth, so pigmented on the lips now. I just love this one as well. Looks very nice. Honestly, I feel like this one will be better for darker skin tones and Charm probably a little bit better for lighter skin tones. Just a quick note, these lip kits are really easy to take off. Obviously, better than the matte ones. I don't know if any of you do like this, but with the matte ones, I have to scrub it off. Even that Exposed is probably my favourite matte. 
Anyway, exposed, even though it's like my nude colour. I am still scrubbing that and the next morning, I think I've got it all off. The next morning I look in the mirror and I can still see it on. Don't even get me started on Mary Jo K, honestly. That one is a killer to get off. I'll use like about three of these just to wipe all the lip kits off. Next velvet lip kit I'm going to be trying is Dazzle. And again, just going to line my lips. I don't really know what the colour of this one's like because obviously side of the box makes it look like a really dark red but who even knows if that's true to colour. Alright, now the lip kit. And this one looks like a really, really dark pink, maybe a little bit of red undertones in it. I don't know, I feel like these last three shades are really simple. Obviously this one is completely different to the first one, Charm. But they feel like they've all like got a hint of pink, they're just getting darker and darker in shade, which... I'm not complaining about that, but for people that want a bit more variety, it might be a bit annoying, but obviously this is her first collection of the velvet, so I'm expecting more colours to obviously come out soon. So yeah, this one is Dazzle. I really like this one. Like, I feel like it is more on the red tones, and I don't really like wearing red on it every day, but because of the formula, how creamy it is, and it's not really a standout in your face kind of red, I feel like I could definitely pull this one off to wear every day. Okay, so the last shade I've got to try is called Rosy. This one looks really different to the other three, which I'm really happy about. At the sides, it looks like a purpley, browny kind of shade. So, we'll try this one on now. Oh my gosh, I'm going to tell I'm going to love this colour so much. Kind of reminds me of Posy K with a little bit more purple. Yeah, it still looks like it's got actually a few pink undertones to it, but definitely is more on the purple side, looks like it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this colour. I don't really go for much dark lips because I'm so basic and just love my nudes, but I love this colour so much. I'm not done yet, obviously, but... Final thoughts on these lip kits. I'm honestly loving them so much. I love this formula. It doesn't feel drying on the lips at all. Such a smooth feeling. All the colours are really neutral. I feel like anyone can pull them all off and they can be everyday wear, wear them out somewhere fancy. They've got a colourful. So I'm really impressed with the starting off colours she chose for her velvets. I honestly love them so much. I can see myself leaning more towards these than the matte ones unless I'm going somewhere where I'm drinking a lot, eating a lot. Obviously I love the matte ones to stay on my lips but every day where I'm going to be obsessed with these and I know I'm going to be wearing these all the time. Now the question is how long is these going to last? So the time right now is almost midday. So I'm going to keep this on for as long as I can. Wear it through lunch, see how it goes with all that. Check the description box below and I'll write a little comment about how well these work, how well they put up with food, drinking and all that and just over time. Last of all, I'm finally going to be testing this highlighter out. Honestly, so excited. You don't know how hard it's been not being able to play with this one because I've been waiting to film this first impression for you guys. I'm really loving the packaging and obviously I did open this one up before I got it just to make sure that I actually did have my highlighter in here. Honestly, there'd be nothing worse to me than if I got this and paid all this money for this highlighter and there was no highlighter inside. Oh. I'm really loving this right now. I'll do... Alright, I'm going to do a little finger swatch on my hand for you. Hopefully you guys can see it with my lighting. Okay, so I'm just going to do one, two, three. Alright, it wasn't really a big payoff. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I don't think she advertised these to be blinding at all or anything. So, as long as I can see a little something there, I'll be happy. But yeah, it's got a nice little mirror, so I'll just do it in this mirror. And for the highlighter, I'm going to be using my Morphe M501 highlighting brush. Honestly, I use this brush all the time to pack highlight on. It works so, so well. Okay, so, just got to do... Go in there, why not? Alright. It's uh, not bad actually. Like, it's not as blinding as some that I have, but it, I can definitely notice it there. Alright, I'm gonna do the other side now. Mm, yeah, I can't really tell, but I will just put some. Maybe on the brow bone. Yeah, I don't 
don't know if you guys can see with that with my lighting, but it's definitely showing up. I really like the color. It is like a pinky tone highlighter. The only thing I can kind of say similar to this is my Too Faced Candlelight highlighter, which is split with the white highlighter down one side and the pink one down the other side. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really actually liking this. I might just pack a little bit more on. But I don't know. I guess not everyone needs a blinding highlight all the time. So I'm really liking that one. I probably will use it a lot. I love the little compact it comes in. Honestly, so cute. So handy that it came with a little mirror too. I'm loving that Kylie's starting to come out with a few more packaging that has mirrors now instead of just the Kylie written on the eyeshadows. I don't know about you. Kind of annoys me when it doesn't have a mirror, but you do your thing, boo. Final thoughts on these lip kits. I'm loving them so much. It's so comfortable to talk with them on. It feels like I'm wearing nothing on the lips. Highlighter, obsessed with. Honestly, I don't think Kylie can do no wrong, besides from the fact that there was no highlighters in some of that little bit dodgy but yeah this whole experience I've had with Kylie this time so impressed with the shipping the products everything so good job to you Kylie honestly it must be hard that she had so much pressure as soon as she started her Kylie cosmetics everyone was buying it website was closing down I feel like she's grew a lot in her Kylie cosmetics brand I'm honestly so happy for her and I'll always support her brand thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see a lip swatch video of my matte ones leave a comment down below yeah, I'm so glad I got to film this video for you. I haven't really seen much going around of the Kylie Velvet swatches, so thought I'd chuck this one out there for you guys. Anyway, so if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like any of the shades, leave me a comment saying which one was your favourite and if you own any of the Kylighters, if you own any of these velvet ones, and what are your opinions on this, guys. Please hit the subscribe button down below. I'm trying to be uploading at least once a week and I've got plenty of ideas to keep giving out to you guys. If you'd like me to film anything, leave a comment down below as well. I'm always open to suggestions, but I've got a lot going on in this head of mine. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.